Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 43 of Healing Good Pretty Hair. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Your girl has literally procrastinated ever since she got home. I got home at 9 o'clock. 8, 8.30 going on 9 o'clock. And it's now 2.30 in the morning and I'm finally watching this. <laughs> oh, rip, Dadu. So, you know, don't be like me. Do not procrastinate. Get your ish done. Can you believe we're almost done with the show? We have two, two, two weeks left. You have two weeks left with Holly Yugi. Oh my god. Oh, the little plushy thing. Oh, that scream, though. Damn. Mm. Turn this down a little bit. That's too bright on me. Oh, what? Oh, yes. You know, Grace, maybe it's time for you to use that power up from, you know, the All Star movie. Even though we don't count that. But okay. But yes, yes. Two weeks left in the year of Aoi Yuki and Umi from Love Live. I'm really sad, honestly, because. It's so funny because <laughs> Aoyuki's new show has been out for five, yeah, five weeks now. And I'm like, oh my god, girl, like, damn, <laughs> we're almost done with your other show. And you've moved on from Pretty Cure, and now you're a spider. <laughs> oh my god, no, oh my god, I forgot to tweet that thing on Friday. I'll tweet it after I'm done watching this. Because it has to do with the show, with the spider show and what she said. And I was like, oh, hmm. There's three magical girls you could be, Aoyuki. You just need to cheat. <laughs> but honestly, really, I, I'm really sad. I'm not ready to say goodbye to these girls. I love them so much. And even though, like, literally a week later, we are finally getting... The Mermaid Melody Pretty Cure Hybrid that I have been wanting for the longest freaking time with the best, <laughs> the best <laughs> effing cast in Pretty Cure history. Five saves, and I know them all, and the, it, they've done it. <laughs> So, I mean, you know how I fangirled about Aoi Yuki and Umi from Love Live? Y'all about to see that a lot. <laughs> With tropical roots. Mm -hmm. Baby. Is it weird that I honestly thought he was going to kill her? Especially, you know, going into the last two weeks. Hell, he could still do that if he wants to. It's about to rain again. The only other thing I can do is stay up until 5 o'clock and wait and take a shower. Not really.
Well, because, hold on. Letty's mom is on her way, right? Something tells me, like, she's not going to get here until at least 44. I mean, because it would be funny to see her, but I don't think so. One second. I mean, y'all tried that, but no. Even the most OP pretty cure in this show cannot take him down. Hell, y'all probably, you know, like, his HP bar? Y'all hitting the invisible point of it. <laughs> it's probably y'all, like, orange. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. Mm. I hate the fact to see them lose like this. Oh, Latino! No! Oh, that had to be her mom. There is no way in hell that was just latte. It took 40 something weeks. Hell, even longer because of COVID, but I know. Oh! too dark now. I don't have one more thing. One, two, three. Is it weird that her say you kind of sounds like Sailor Moon? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, but... Brock. <laughs> that would be awesome, though. I mean, because especially if you hear um, Sailor Moon say his voice now. My God, she not even. Will you sit your freaking? Mm. Oh. Hmm. 
Hmm? Yeah, because I think if you had finished off Lady T, he would hate you for that. If, you know, if Umi can stand, the rest of y'all can stand. <laughs> the fact that Umi still got fucking away. Child, child. Lord, ooh. I mean, because, you know, she that OP. Aww. I'm gonna miss these eye catches with my precious children. No, you're still on Earth. Mm. But y'all can get back in there, right? You have to. So what else can you do? That could work. <laughs> the fact that we're having a funny moment at this time. <laughs> You might die. Look now. Look. I can't believe I'm about to bring this up. We are not. This ain't Toa. I mean not Toa. Fua. This ain't Fua 2.0. Okay. We're not doing that. Mm -mm. See. Oh me.
Well, at least she gave him time to talk. Oh. That probably means in the last episode we ain't gonna see when we transform anymore. Oh my god, stop. I can't think like that right now, but like it just hurts so much and I don't want this. because it's all you can do. <laughs> oh God, I can't. <sighs> Stop. Oh my God. Deja, please. <laughs> The show ain't even over yet, and I'm crying over it. You know she's gonna move. This how. Of course. Yeah, but if you keep evolving, there might be a point where you, um, ain't gonna be OP anymore. I don't know. Mm. She's not gonna fall for that. <laughs> But she fell for it. Is that really gonna finish her though? Well, okay, never mind. There you go. Mm. I mean, mm. one latte.
Oh! Yeah, because, hold on. How long has it been since we've seen this? <laughs> episodes. <laughs> like, oh my god, I can't even remember. The last episode that this is on, I think it, was, it had to be between 20 and 30. Did that seem a little too easy, though? You're okay, though? Okay. Let's just hope you can get... Oh, Monty! Yeah, because I don't know if Latte's mom can hold freaking Bugan ish. Who knows? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Even though this episode was, you know, half me talking, half me crying, and it's, I really enjoyed it for what it was. I mean, this is. Not even, not even the calm for the store, before the store. This is the final few episodes of the final, final battle. The, the battle that will, you know, save humanity, which we know it's gonna go good. But honestly, like, just hearing Umi talking about the fact that she has to take the Bugans inside of her in order for them to possibly win. Yes, it hurts because who knows what could happen in this next episode, which is possibly going... Well, yeah, in my opinion. It's going to be the last battle. Well, the ending of the battle. And then, you know, episode 45 is going to be officially an extra battle with Cure Summer officially making her appearance into the show and indicating that and such. But it was good. Yeah, thank you for making me cry. I, You know, honestly, I think I needed it today because, you know, since we are getting closer and closer to the end of this show, um, it's going to be worse when we get to that last episode and we have to say goodbye. I, I think just getting closer and closer to it, it's getting more and more real and it hurts. And probably when the last episode comes out, we're probably going to have over, like, oh. Why does it look like a recap episode? Okay, never mind. I mean, the way they had old moments, yeah, it looked like a freaking recap episode. But we're, I think when we get to the final episode, yeah, we probably gonna have like a 30 minute video of <laughs> a pretty cure finale because there's gonna be a lot, and I mean a lot of ish to talk about. And such. And honestly, I think it, it's going to be a good day when that day comes, even though at the same time I'm dreading it because I'm not really ready to talk about my final, my final thoughts on this show, the characters, the story, um, maybe what I li liked and disliked about each character, um, was everybody wrong? Wait, I can't speak. Well written. Um, did some characters outshine others? And this is that and the third. Very how very similar I did with um Star Twinkle, and then kind of with H Hugato and Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl in mode. Even though I don't think I really did that with Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl in mode and Hugato. Yeah, I um, I think I did. I don't know. I think I did. But, you know, since I don't have those videos anymore, F YouTube. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm not ready to see how this is going to end. What is going to be their OP final move that they're going to use for this episode and this episode only. That may be possibility. Um, 
they'll bring it in the final episode for the show because it, like I said, it's getting more and more real. I think when we were at episode, okay, so this is 45 episodes. I think when we got to like the 30 episode mark and getting closer and closer, especially, you know, not only that, but when the show finally returned, um, after its COVID hiatus and the fact that we were so many months away to the end of the show, it, it just, it kind of got more and more real to me. And then the fact is that the Halloween, the Christmas, and the New Year's episodes aren't going to be here. So it feels, it still feels weird to me even now because I'm like, damn, we're not going to get to see holidays with these three. I mean, three, four, my bad. <laughs> um, and I really wanted that. That's Because honestly, in my opinion, those are the episodes that I'm always truly excited for. Because that's officially, you know, when everybody as as a team is together and they get more adventures when it's like the main story of it. But when it's like a filler episode, which in my opinion, I feel like the Halloween episode, well, the holiday episodes are story at canon as filler at the same time and such is maybe if they even had like the beach episode for this show that was freaking filler like that that's canon filler and you can't tell me it wasn't because it was it truly was but for a good canon filler show i mean episode it was good it was enjoyable i loved it it just gave me feels to um so many uh sports animes and specifically volleyball animes that i've watched in the past and that i love oh so, so much but yeah i'm just not ready to say goodbye to these girls and to this show and it's gonna hurt i think a lot more um possibly more equal to how i felt towards the end of kitty kitty pretty girl mode and go princess pretty care even though kitty kitty pretty girl uh, a la mode was the first um, show that I did a reaction on for this entire Pretty Cure series, but it's just because those two and a couple of others are very near and dear to my heart, and because I love them so much, and the characters and the lore and stuff, and not to be able to see those girls, it, it feels weird. And so it, it's like that with the with these girls as well. Even though I haven't seen currently the All Stars movie, and then plus their own movie, and I don't think that comes out until next month I believe because COVID of course um I mean I'll be happy when it you know it comes out and I'm able to watch it I don't know if I'll react to it I probably will but at the same time because of the fact is it'll be over because the show is almost over and it's, it's just gonna be sad it, it really truly is and I <laughs> I want to like put press pause on this show and just be like no just stay with me a little bit longer and such but I get the fact that we you know eventually have to move on to the next thing but it just hurts so much because this isn't the only show for um well 2020 going into 2021 anime um that I still feel um an emotional not only connection, but <laughs> still hella emotional <laughs> over the fact that it's over and that even though, yes, I can go back and rewatch it, like, and everything, but the feelings that you have that first time, like, ish. I love the fact that I'm talking about this, like, it's the final episode, even though it's not. But you can't precipitate those feelings again, and you just have memories of it. And when a show is over, it's over. And it hurts so fucking much because currently right now I am still like that with technically counting this show. It's three, even though it's not over, but for right now it's two and <laughs> it hurts so much because one of the girls from one of the show, I have her as my profile picture, even though she wasn't in the anime until like the final episode. And the other anime from the other show that I cried about, <laughs> I, I had her as my profile picture for like the longest time because she's my number one current fave anime female character. And only because of the, well, because what happened in the show. So no spoilers, unless you've seen this show, Aquadama Drive. <laughs> um, but yeah, honestly, like Christmas 
I don't think I'll be able to look at Christmas the same way again, even though that is one of my best girl's birthdays. But at the same time, because the person who created the series, he did something on Christmas, and he just likes to have, you know, his fans of his fandom cry on Christmas. So, yeah. But, yeah. Th this was a really good episode, and I honestly, even though I'm dreading it, <laughs> cannot wait to see how everything ends, how it's going to be, and <laughs> I'm about to cry. <laughs> Our, um... Our final moments with these girls for the last two weeks. Oh, damn it, Deja. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 43 of Healing Good Pretty here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. <laughs> Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday, Sunday for episode 44. Bye, guys.